if you want to take photographs of objects moving. Cars is good because you pan with the subject, you keep your body kind of, you, you, your hips and your, your, your feet firmly in place, planted on the ground, and you'd swivel at the hips with the object keeping the camera still. I mean, that's kind of movie you're, you're obviously going to be looking through. And that's what I plan to do with the aeroplanes. So again, an, another quick recap, shutter priority, let the camera adjust its aperture by itself. Bug on me, I've always got bugs on me, haven't I? <laughs> or is it oil? I don't know. Shutter priority, F60 down to F40, sticking it in, in that realm. Camera's doing the ISO, camera's doing the aperture. So it makes it really easy. All I've got to do is make sure that I focus and that could be my problem. And as the aeroplane takes off, flies by, lands, whatever, I will semi-hold the button to lock the focus in on the, on the aeroplane, pan with it, and I can do my focal range accordingly. So if I want to get really close, I'll zoom right in, but keep the focus locked, still be panning. Um, and another thing that I'm very guilty of as I'm panning is that I kind of drag, drag my pan too late and I end up chopping the aeroplane tail off. Or if I go too far ahead of the aeroplane, I chop the propeller off. So in terms of focal length, zooming right in, unless you're trying to get to the cockpit, um, you don't actually need to zoom right in. But if that's the area and the plane is inside the frame, then you can always do some post-processing cropping, you know, and it, because it's a, a digital image, you can enhance it and actually probably get even closer into the subject. Okay, we're just gonna wait now. So we've got a plane coming in now. It will probably just land, but I'll take a shot of it as it taxis along. So what have I got? Let's drop it to 140th. Camera wants to give me one th F13. Get a nice shot of it with the sun shining on it. And the guy waves at me. They always do that, the pilots. They wave at you. Like you. Static. He's standing still. That'll give me sharpness. So yeah, a couple of shots of G B H A J. It came into land and he, he kind of parked up opposite me, so that was nice. So I have got a couple of shots on 1 40th of a second and they kind of work. So I'm going to take a shot of this other one taking off. I'm going to push that to 1 60th of a second. It will give me F8 to F10 because I've got shut a priority what the camera will do is automatically adjust the aperture itself depending on the ambient lighting i will also add that i've got auto iso on let me just check yeah auto iso so as i'm tracking with the object plane in this case if i actually take a shot of it with the sky in the background then that's light and the camera will keep it at, at ISO 100. But as I pan along, I might actually take a shot with the trees in the background and that could darken the image. But as I pan back with the trees in the background, I could get ISO 200 or ISO 400. But I'm not particularly worried about that. I don't think I'll get any low noise, uh, noise on the digital image on a day like today. Yeah, it's particularly quiet, but that's the thing with um, little aerodromes. One minute it's just hectic with things taking off. I wonder if the fuel price crisis is affecting the local pilots, you know, because the tax on red diesel or flight fuel. While he's doing that, I'm going to change the lens. Give me a second. That's what I'm seeing. The guy's just waiting and waiting. What's he waiting for? Why doesn't he take off? Okay, it looks like he's about to prep for the runway takeoff. Getting himself lined up. Let's get ready for this. Are you ready? Poised. Action photographer. 
You too could be an action photographer. Come on then. Can I be quick? Here he comes. Poised. Continuous shooting. I got nine shots there, just following it and panning it. How many of these are actually in focus, have the, comp the plane in the middle of the composition? I'm gonna choose my best out of these nine and do some cropping and a little bit of enhancing. But yeah, I think I got all the propellers are blurred on all of them. Yeah, there's quite a few good little shots there. The background's blurred. Yeah, quite nice. Right, let's see if another airplane comes along, shall we? How fortunate, we've actually got one coming along now. So I can take a couple of shots of him taxiing with his lights. Rather good. Drop down my exposure compensation because even though I'm using shutter priority and it, it gives me a, an exposure, it's actually coming out too bright. So being on the fly, I can adjust the exposure manually by turning down or tuning down the exposure compensation. So yeah, another one to take off, an old Cessna. I assume it's a Cessna, it looks like one. As you can see, he's just parked up, waiting for his instructions and doing nothing. Gives me time to just check everything is in order. Autofocus is on, image stabilization is on. Um, just check things. I actually have my white balance on cloudy again because it gives me the greens that I like in my photographs. Saves me having to do it in post-processing. I'm going to take this next batch using auto, just let the camera do it. So it's almost fully auto here. The only things I'm doing is changing the um, speed of the shutter from 40 to 60 and I'm dropping the um, f-stop by changing the exposure compensation. I'll make it 0 0.7, minus 0 0.7. There he is, he's lining up. And now the sun is shining, I should get some nice sparkly glints off the fuselage, or maybe even the windows. Right, he's about to head this way. So a bit hazy today, despite the sunshine. He's about to take off. Oh, he's not lifting off yet. Gosh, he didn't get the um, he didn't get the oomph. He didn't didn't open the throttle enough. It's a long runway, but it took him a while to get down there. Oh well, I'll call it quits at that point. I think. Look, I'm second to only one in the car park today. Not a lot going on but I got a couple of shots. So yeah, shutter priority, 1 40th to 1 60th of a second. Auto ISO, because the camera's on shutter priority, it adjusts the f-stop so I don't have to worry about depth of field. And actually because I'm tracking the plane as it flies by, um, I get the blurry background anyway. Did you find that helpful? <laughs> or was it too short? Do you need more in-depth? Drop me a comment. Um, otherwise, I'll say bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.